The Town Hall 16 update has drastically altered the way we attack in Clash of Clans, especially when it comes to using your heroes. So today, I'm bringing you three of the best attack strategies for you to use at Tunnel 9 to help you progress faster. So our first army will be the Lava Loon Spam, which consists of four Lava Loons, 20 Balloons. And as you can see here, this specific base has a mass concentration of splash damage in the middle. So we want to minimize the damage that will be done there by damaging the wizard tasks as well as putting our two rages in that area to push the troops through as fast as possible. We will start with two lava loons uh, towards each of the first air defenses and then with a, sp a regular spread of uh, balloons just to follow behind them. The cool thing about this army is when a uh, lava a lava hound dies, the lava pups provide the cleanup afterwards, so there's no need for extra cleanup troops. As well as the king and queen, obviously, that provide a cleanup, they are actually not essential to this attack. The only reason why you might want to include them is you might have a time fail if you have your heroes down. And as you can see here, it's not even a minute of a replay, and already all the defense has been taken out. Balloons at Tunnel 9 are incredibly powerful if used correctly. and Paired with the Lava Pops and the Lava Love Hounds, it's just a breeze of an army to use. It requires absolutely no skill and it's just fun to see everything being decimated. So this is the army comp. If you want to see it in front of you, you can see the hero equipment is the giant gauntlet as well as the rage vial and then the giant arrow and the invisibility vial. You can swap out the giant arrow for the uh, archer puppets if you want. And if you don't have the uh, hero, the giant gauntlet um, unlocked, then you can use the uh, barbarian puppets for yourself. The next army is the Valkadoza army. I'm using the same layout as last time with the concentration of splash damage in the middle. And we're going to start with the two baby dragons as funneling and then the golem from the CC to tank. You don't actually need a golem in this army. You can use the king for tanking if he's high enough level. If not, then I suggest getting a golem. As you know, since you unlock it at tunnel nine, it's a pretty common troop for your clan mates to have. So you'll have no problem getting a donator to yourself. As you can see, we just established a perfect funnel down site. And now we can send in all the Valkyries all in one spot and just watch them tear through the base or bulldoze as the name suggests through this base. I threw a rage down here to try and push them through the splash damage, but they decided to go around. So now I just ended up raging up three of the Valkyries along with the Golem. So I then sent the heal as well as a free spell into the first two wizard tiles and then the CC freeze into the next two wizard tiles, although that was also not strictly necessary, just a precaution. As you can see, most of my Valkyries popped out, out of the, uh, popped out on the side. And now they're going to run around the base and I have to make use with those few uh, Barbarians. Ah, with the Barbarian and the few Valkyries there. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Very easy, very satisfying strategy to watch. I guarantee you almost a three star every single time unless you do something very wrong. Okay, so here is the army composition for you. The golem is optional. You can use the king for tanking, although it would be safer to take the golem. The king's equipment would be the rage vial, as well as the earthquakes, earthquake boots or the giant gauntlet. And the queen will be the giant arrow, as well as the invisibility vial. Our next attack strategy is the boho whiz. This is an army that consists out of a wave of hogs along with bolus in the CC that will deal most of the damage. We're going to start the funnel at the bottom with a baby dragon and two wizards and the queen at the top. Our main objective is to send the golem towards that exposed mortar and follow it up with the bolus. We're going to open up the base with the wall breakers and then we can send the wave of hogs through the moment that there is a clear path for them to follow and not for them to split up. As you can see, the wall breakers went the wrong way. But it's still not too much of a problem since the golem is tanking, which is what we wanted. 
and now we can send in the bolus afterwards and they will then break through the first bit of the base and then get some percentage as well as make a clear path for the hogs to follow. As you can see here, the bolus almost went out of the base and I had to deploy all my cleanup troops just to prevent that. That is why the funnel is so incredibly important. You can use the rage to push your golems through, through the base and do a little more damage as I did here. Sadly, a giant bomb went off and killed most of them, but we still got 43% out of the base without even deploying our hogs. And now there's a clear path for them to follow without them having to split up and go around the base. What you then want to do is you want to use your heals to keep your hogs alive and the freezes to minimize some of the damage of the splash of the splash uh, defenses. For example, here at the top there's a Tesla farm along with an Expo and a Wizard Tower, which we will then freeze up and we can use the heals to push it through the hogs through those Tesla through that Tesla farm. As you can see here, the heal then just keeps the hogs alive and we have another heal left without any defenses to really be any threat towards our wave. So then we can just swag the heal there at the mortar. And that is the attack, ladies and gentlemen. Easy, fun, and it makes you feel like a, like a pro player because it's a little bit of strategy and it's not a spam army. And you know, yeah, easy and fun. Okay, so here is the army composition for you. You can see the 24 hogs and everything. The king equipment, I would say using the rage vial and the giant gauntlet. Although if you don't have the giant gauntlet, I would recommend the barbarian puppet. Not the earthquake boots since it's a hog army. So the hogs just jump over the walls. And for the queen, I would recommend using the invisibility vial and the giant arrow. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, remember to subscribe so you don't miss the next video which will also bring you 3 more attack strategies to use for Town Hall 9.